we're only one step away from starting our main base. Except that step involves us surviving the most dangerous swamp in the game. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we traveled the map and made one of our largest infrastructure projects to date. All to create a fully functional weapons factory. So now with a steady supply of rifle ammo and explosives, we're ready to conquer the world. And our main objective is to unlock as much tech as possible. So we're gonna want like oil processing, Caterium electronics, raw quartz research, and every alternate recipe in the game. So let's begin on that. Because honestly guys, we really haven't even gotten started with this Let's Play. Like a lot of the projects are, oh it's overflow, oh we'll fix it later, blah 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 blah. Because there's no point making huge production facilities with the inefficient recipes. So our goal, up until this point, was to get up to weapon tech, so we can clear out crash sites for the drop pods, and unlock literally every alternate recipe. So that's the goal today then, to explore the world and gather all the hard drives, and destroy everything in our way. All we need now are some better wheels to move and groove with, because the sugar cube ain't gonna cut it. So we are gonna try and build ourselves a truck, but we're gonna need a little bit of rubber first, which means we finally have to unlock oil processing. Yes, it's come to this. And honestly, I've kind of tried to avoid this because I have a little bit of PTSD from her last playthrough dealing with this issue. But, it must be done. So, rocket launch. And let's set up those oil fields. Milestone reached. Or at least get started anyway. Okay, unlocked. I know all about oil, Ava, don't worry. I have dealt with this beast before. But what do we need for an oil extractor? That's kind of the only thing I'm worried about. Because as I thought, it needs heavy modular frames. And we still don't really have those automated yet, so I guess we just have to take from our very limited supply and go off and make some kind of temporary solution here. Luckily though, as with everything in this amazing starting location, we just have a bunch of oil right on our doorstep, right over there. Now I'm pretty sure there's two normal nodes and an impure node around here. I think this one's normal. Flies, excuse me. Okay, I was wrong, that's impure. But this is probably a normal node then, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Third time's a charm, right? This one's normal? You better believe it. Okay. Just have to deal with the visitors. And then we can get this thing up and running. And I'll get us our first little bits of initial oil, which we can craft into the rest of the computers we need, rubber we need, and heavy modular frames. And with that little bit of oil, we have enough materials to make ourselves Mr. Truck. Mr. Truck will take us around the world on a massive adventure. And you might be wondering why I don't unlock the Explorer, because we're getting a lot of hard drives. And we gotta throw a lot of stuff in the back of the truck. And we're gonna need a little bit of trunk space. Also though, we're gonna need ourselves our rifle, which takes, is that circuit boards? Okay, and more heavy modular frames. Hmm, I'm getting a pattern here. That's okay, cause I crafted a ton of frames, and luckily I found a bunch of circuit boards around some drop pods. So we'll just pick up a few of them. And that gets us our shiny, shiny, shooty, shooty. And with the rifle and our muffin man powers, Ooh, things are gonna be rough for the aliens. Ooh, and what a beautiful sight. Let's just grab, I don't know, a lot of ammo and a good chunk of explosives. And now we just have to pack for our trip. So I'm using the satisfactory calculator kinda to see where things are so we don't have to run around and retrace our steps because we got a lot of stuff to collect. And this is gonna be quite the journey. So while I'm gone, Mio, 2-0, you're gonna have to guard the house, okay? I know you're vicious, I know you're dangerous, so please go easy on intruders. Unless it's a spider. If it's a spider, rip him apart. Ooh, and one more quick thing before we leave here, but I forgot something. Uh, we need to research quartz just so we can unlock a few extra drop pods here. So I'll take a nice little 15 minutes, and then aside from that, everything else is ready. 
I've looked at the satisfactory map, I've seen kind of what we need, and we have I pretty much everything. Uh, we need a, quite a few crystal oscillators, but maybe with that tech we'll be able to get those. Then other than that, this is what I have prepared. Ton of ammo, couple supercomputers, extra parachutes, so we can jump around and have fun. Sea doors and like all this miscellaneous stuff. Oh, and muffins. Many, 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 many muffins. So we should be okay. Uh, the big issue is we can't dismantle the truck or else all this stuff will just go on the ground. So we have to keep this with us, clear paths, and do stuff like that. We also don't have the jetpack, so we're gonna be highly reliant on using industrial storage containers to climb around and move around. And we have a decent chunk of stuff to do that with. As for fuel, I did bring a ton of coal just in case, but I found a lot of batteries around drop pods, so we're mainly gonna use them. It's like, what, this is like a perfect time to use them, right? So, me as well. And they're also the best fuel source in the entire game. So I expect these to last our entire adventure here. Ooh, and it's a good thing actually I stopped here and waited for a second because I forgot we don't have the gas mask. So we're gonna have to compensate by using the power of muffins to survive the toxic gas and radiation. So let's just quickly grab an extra couple muffins for the road. It's not like they're in short supply. Oh, this is gonna be a spicy adventure, guys. This is easily the most dangerous adventure we could be going on because we don't have a jetpack, and if we die with a lot of this stuff, we don't have it automated. So it's pretty much unique stuff at this point. And what a pain in the butt it would be to have to try and get this stuff back. Anyway, let us go carefully and hit the road. Not gonna lie, I'm feeling very American with my rifle and my big truck here, and I'm ready to spread some freedom. But the first stop is actually right down the hill here, because I think this one's empty. There's the pod. And it just needs some power and rotors, right? You better believe it. Oh, and all the stuff's in the truck. Okay, but there we go. Easy one, just to start things off and get this party started. And I just wanted to start with the easy one, because now we're gonna start heading over this way and the next drop pod on the list is way, 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 way up there somewhere. On the tallest cliff in the game. All right, I think this is close enough. Coolio, and what does this need? It's gonna need 30 megawatts and a couple motors. All right, well we have the power stuff. Let's see, do I have motors? You better believe I do. Let's put that back in. Rotors we don't really need but we'll keep them for now. And let's figure this out. It'd be really nice to have a radar tower at this point, because then it's just like one build and you're whoop, all the way up. But no, instead, we gotta bin it. Okay, but binning it does work pretty well. Just have to be careful up here not to die or aggro as much as we can. Okay, I think from here, we just blast the tree out of the way and bin it up this cliff and we're there. And pretty much like that, tallest cliff in the game, Dunzos. But there's a couple guys up here, right? It's not just the flies, I know there's some other rascals, yes, no? Too high of altitude? Probably. And are there no flies? Is it just free? Brother, that's free real estate, I'll take it. Oh, and it's just motors. Very nice. Also, we get a very cool and unique view of our base that we don't really get to see. And actually, this is probably my favorite view. <laughs> Might need to add in a couple more windows over there, but you know, it's pretty good right now. Whoa. Okay, and also it's really good I have some parachutes. Cause stuff like that's gonna be happening all the time. Yo, 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 Mr. Bean, beep, beep. It's me, here for my beachfront vacation time. Wait, did we crash a truck? Uh-oh. We don't have enough power to go backwards, uh-oh. Whoa, 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 can we blow this up? Wait, if we try and blow this thing up, that might hurt the truck. Okay, it didn't hurt the truck. Can we just nudge ourselves away? Yeah. 
Okay, it's sliding around. Eventually we'll get past. Now, let's just deal with uh, you guys. Give you all the blap blap. And keep moving and grooving. Okay. And good, we got unstuck. Now we just have to find our way out of this nasty area. With uh, maybe a quick trip through a little gas. Hello there, Loop. I love you, Loop. I will be back for you, my friend. But right now, we have other goals to attend to. Like collecting those power slugs. Oh my gosh, I actually almost died too. Didn't even see that. Thank goodness for the muffins. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, hello, my friend. You're closer than expected. Okay, do we just shoot the flies? Like, I wish there's a, oh, I know the combo, how to get rid of flies. So what you do is first, you throw an explosive just right next to him. And then, what you wanna do is just shoot the nest things. And then with all of them standing there, a blap blap and they're gone. And that's how you do pest control. Most of the time. Oh, and guys, check out what I found. It's a brick? A Lego brick? Maybe. JK. It's a loop brick. It's like made out of marble or something. Or some like... It almost looks like... Oh! Death! Death! Almost looks like death. Where? Where did that come from? I, I don't know. We're just gonna get this. And we're just gonna scoot. Right on through the beautiful Gold Coast. Uh, luckily though, we don't have to stick around here for long because I went through here on a live stream and got all the hard drives out in the oil fields to our right there. So we're skipping right ahead to the cliff area here. So excuse me, Mr. Bean. Thank you very much. But we have crash sites to secure. But we shouldn't be here for too long. There's not that many draw pods. Like my friend over here. This one that got itself stuck up in the cliffs over here. And then there's the one in this lake. And oh my goodness, I am not making the mistake I made in my first playthrough. And we are making a bridge here. If we drove the truck in here, it'll get stuck. There we go. Very safe. Very simple. And you know what? Now that I think of it, I think this is the very first drop pod I ever opened. It was just right here. And what did it need? Steel beams. Which, of course, I don't have on me. But at least I had them in the truck. And oh my goodness gracious, guys. Do you remember this? This wonderful area? Oh, it has been too long. The nostalgia. I can't believe we built our base here. Like, my goodness, it was so tall. And is that fart rock over there? You better believe it's fart rock. And you know what? Since we never collected the slug on top in our first playthrough, I think it's time. You're coming with me, buddy. You ain't safe in this new world, friend. But then again, neither are we. Because the swamp has been unsnapped. Full of dangers, gases, and trees, oh my. Yep. Now we have to go through this again. Luckily, the drop pods we need are there. There's one in the river over there. And... I don't know where the rest are, but like, what I'm trying to say is, I don't think we need to go deep into this biome, but we must venture forth. So, the truck is parked way up here, because if we die down here, we're pretty screwed. So we're trying to take, kind of, like, the essentials. Pretty much all the ammo we need, the explosives, etc, etc. So, we are going to head straight this way, and go for the drop pod we literally just saw. Okay, YOLO. We're going in. We got muffins fully stacked out. And we're gonna need them because of all this gas. Where's the actual pod though here? Hello? Drop pod? Right there. Oh, and flying spiders too, of course. Of course. My favorite kind of spider. My favorite kind of spider. Excuse me. Have I introduced you to gun? Nope, 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 nope. Exactly. You ain't jumping nowhere. Punk? Too bad there's like thousands of spiders around here. Alrighty though, let's just run in. Just go. Not even gonna worry about the loot around. 
perfect. Give me that. And then we get right on out of here. Like, with the gas, the muffins are fine. But it's when the gas and the spiders team up, then we're gonna have a problem. Actually, not gonna lie, I have a bit of a problem here. I don't really recognize the biome with all this nature around. Like, what is it doing here? Go away! Regardless, I think we're on the right track. And can we swim through this water or will it kill me? It kills me, doesn't it? Let's just try. Okay, apparently not. Gladly mistaken there. Ah, and there's the other drop pod. Ooh, and no spiders. But of course, all the monsters just want to hang out here because this is just the cool place to hang out, right? Of course it is. Buddy. Buddy. I have ammo for you to eat. Get your fill of iron for the day, you know? Good bud. Went out with a stylish finish. Four points. And now, for you, my friend. Just build a little platform out. And I'm pretty sure this one takes... Super computers! Good thing I brought the two of them. And that's a yoink. And now the last one is the most difficult one. There is one at the waterfall, pretty much at the center of the biome. So we have to make our way through here, through the gas, through the spiders, and through the lizard doggo's flames. Whoa! Oh! What? How did that hit me? The spider's over here, sneakier than ever before. But we still have ammo and muffins. Okay, and there's a stinky spider. Did you see me? You better believe he saw me. Could you fart somewhere else, please? Sir, 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 little spider, I'm dealing with the big lad. Oh, the big lads. Oh god, we're getting swarmed, we're getting swarmed. Oh my god, this is spider swarm. Oh my goodness, he's farting. Don't fart on me, brother, please. Which one's weak? Where's the fart? Oh, we could, we got the fart. Oh, we got them both. Yo, we got them all. Only used like half our ammo, but hey. Not dead yet, brother. Okay, bunch of stuff over there that doesn't matter. There's a secret cave behind the waterfall that's just full of nuclear nonsense. And what we want is up there. Excellent. And we're good. And what do you need? Computers, my dude. We got you. Alrighty though, that is pretty much all the stuff we needed from this biome. We got all the hard drives we can get. And now there's just one last thing I want to do. There's a really, really cool cave around here that I just want to get all the power slugs from. It's full of them. It's absolutely full of them. And absolutely worth our time. In fact, I think we actually passed by it. It's right over here. Which is next to one of the first drop pods we got. So the cave is full of spiders, and is not very chill, but it's worth it. We're right near our truck, and I want those sluggo boys. They're gonna really help out when we start on our main factory soon. So what, come with me, buddy? I can already hear them. They're everywhere. Watching, lurking. Okay, so let's just move through quickly. Very, very quickly. Yes, I can hear it, I can hear it. But where? Where is it? <gasps> oh, they're flying again. Okay, hey. I think we're safe here though, yes? Yes. And you, buddy, it seemed to have eaten the wrong mushrooms. Fine by me. Anybody? Oh, I knew there'd be somebody. My ammo. Ooh. Sir? Sir? Where'd he go? He disappeared. What? Where'd he go? He was right here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Just get the slug. Get the slug. Get the slug. Get the slug. Not even fronting. He's just gonna pop up later. <laughs> oh my god. <coughs> it was. <coughs> I was going for a breath. It was hiding. Why? Where? What? You're the sneak. No. 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 
my heart. They're everywhere. Kill the lurker. You will not defeat me. The slugs are mine. There we go. They got stuck. Oh. You thought you would best me by jumping down from above. Oh god. But you were wrong. Okay, let's just get out of here now. Oh, truck. I have missed you. But we are finally safe. Goodness gracious. So now we just have one last quick stop in the desert biome. And then I think we're done. Okay, though, my friend. I think you are the last one we're picking up today. And we should have enough to unlock every alternate recipe. Alright. And what did we need here? A bunch of power. Easy peasy. And driving back to base from here will be pretty simple as well. We're done. We're good. Loot secured. And we have like an insane amount of batteries left to boot. So, what did we get from our journey? It's looking like, let's see here, 23 hard drives, 5 uh, bouncy balls, 7 loops, and about 38 power shards. Not bad, not bad. And Mio, 2 you guys take care of yourselves? Ah yes, you're gathering mushrooms, of course you were. Well thank you, but I'll stick to the muffins, okay? But of course, now with all of our hard drives comes the tedious part. Actually unlocking everything from them. Because each one of them takes a good old 10 minutes to research. So 10 minutes times 26 is about 4 hours and 20 minutes. So I guess we'll try and get through most of them on the next stream. In the meantime though, we need to unlock as much as we can so we can get all of the alternate recipes with the hard drives. Because if you don't know the recipe to begin with, you can't unlock alternates, right? So let's dive into some quartz research with the explorer tech. There we go. And I guess the most exciting thing with that is now we get the map. So we can see our world and wow. I have been moving and grooving, eh? <laughs> That's actually insane. So pretty much all of this was done in this episode. Oof. Busy boy, busy boy. Oh yes, and we can get into the Keterium fun. Oh boy. Man, I remember like years ago now when I set this temporary thing up. Well, now it's gonna be paying off and done. Cool. And wait a second, wait a second, wait a wait, 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 wait a second. I think with that, yes, we did. We unlock the super computers. Oh boy, can't wait to get to that again. But for now, we're gonna be hanging out with the ma'am for a while. All right, well, I have worked through many, many, many hard drives and we still haven't gotten through them all. But I think we have enough recipes to get started with our main factory. Like, look at this. All of these little, like, earth-looking things. Alternate recipes. Alternate recipes for days. Now we can leave our starter base and start working on the main base. And really start playing the game. However, though, that's gonna be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day. And bye bye <laughs>